What's up world? Welcome back to the Big City Gardener YouTube channel. It's me, Big City Gardener. Now, today we're here to talk about how you can easily propagate your Mexican milkweed. Very simple. You do it the same way that you propagate a lot of your other herbs, all right? But this flower right here is extremely important. It is a host plant for the monarch butterfly. So, come fall around Halloween, it's time for you to chop back your monarch milkweed or your Mexican milkweed so that the monarchs will continue their travel all the way to Mexico. Prior to cutting back the milkweed, you can propagate some of the tops so that you have some plants ready for the spring when they make their return. Let me show you how easy it is to do that. All you're gonna need, some nice pruners, and a cup that'll hold some water. Let's get started. Monarch caterpillar eating the milkweed. Now, the Mexican milkweed is a host plant for monarchs, so, if you want to raise monarchs, you're going to have to have Mexican milkweed. Now, they eat a lot, okay? So you need to make sure you have enough milkweed for that entire time frame. And the easiest way to do that is to take cuttings from your milkweed like we're about to do. So it's relatively easy to propagate milkweed. It is very similar to how you propagate things like rosemary or basil. All we're going to do is take a cutting and then stick this cutting in water. Now, you'll notice that this is flowering. You don't really want to propagate flowering parts of the plant. So if it already has flowers on it, what you're just gonna wanna do is to remove the flowers before you take your cut. So it's as simple as getting your pruners and knocking off all of the flowers. Once we have all the flowers removed, what we are able to do, take our cut, I like to take them a little bit longer, okay? I know milkweed is something you can clone from a very short distance, but I like to make my cuttings long. So, cut 45 degree angle. Now, you're going to remove some of the bottom leaves, okay? Everything that is gonna be submerged in water, you want no leaves on the branch where it will be submerged in water. You can pull them off with your fingers, but if you have your pruners in your hand, it's as simple as this. After you've taken your cutting and you remove the leaves, all you're gonna do, get a cup, a container, a glass, whatever you have with water, drop the cut end into the jar. Now, you're gonna wanna set this in a place out of the sun. After about a week or two, you'll notice roots coming out. These fine white hairs are the start of roots. Now, you'll leave your cutting submerged in water until the roots are formed well enough to where you can transplant this into some soil. A tip, whenever you're propagating milkweed, you're going to want to come out and mist the plant with the spray bottle to keep the top moist. If possible, if you have a two liter, uh, if you have an empty water jug or an empty plastic jug of any sort, you can easily invert it over the top of here to create a makeshift humidity dome. These cuttings, milkweed, particularly like high humidity whenever they are propagating. So with those tips, with those tricks, you should be able to take as many cuttings of milkweed as possible. That's all, a quick video on how easy it is to propagate milkweed. Now, depending on when you're watching this video, if it's fall time around Halloween, it's time for you to go outside and cut all of your milkweed back. Before you cut that milkweed though, make sure you take your cuttings. That's it. Big City Gardener, I'm out. Thank you for tuning in. Y'all have a great day.